everyone, this is Coach Ro from RocioFlores.com and today I'm going to talk to you guys about buying knowledge. So I want to explain kind of what that means. Today I want to talk to you guys about how to be informed when making decisions about your health and products that you use to help you with either health or weight loss or anything in that nutrition spectrum. So this is the last video of a two-week nutrition series that I did on my blog at rocioflores.com. Make sure that you head over there and you watch the rest of the videos. I give you guys kind of the basic information about nutrition when it comes to the macronutrients, micronutrients. So what are proteins, fats, carbs, vitamins, and minerals, enzymes? What is a superfood and what is not a superfood? So I give you guys this information because I've been through this journey for a while now and when I first started I didn't know anything and I wish I had known these things because I would have made my journey a lot shorter and it would have made it a whole lot easier. So before I get started, again, as I've told you guys in every video, I'm not a doctor. So I want to make sure that if you guys have any kind of health conditions, before you make any kind of decision about your health, adding in a product, taking out a food group, anything like that, ask your doctor because if you have certain health conditions, they can be affected or if you're taking certain medications, that could be affected as well. And I want you guys to be safe and to be well taken care of. So all the information I gave you today is just information that I've picked up from my journey and from being trained in nutrition when I was working as a nutrition counselor and being a health coach. So I'm just trying to give you guys the best information to help you guys. I'm not going to try to sell you anything on this video. Don't worry about that. But I want to give you guys the knowledge so you can make decisions when you do want to buy something or when someone is selling you something. This field of nutrition or of health is changing all the time. There are a lot of, there's a lot of information that comes out in, in the world of science. Um, discoveries that from just 30 years ago we didn't know and now we know so much more about. So it is an ever-changing area of study. So sometimes people bring out something that's great for you and everybody is so excited about it. And then we find out that it's actually really bad and it does something really bad. Or sometimes we believe something's really bad and people are like, but I know it's good because it's helped me. And later we find out that it was actually good. So hopefully as you've gone through some of the videos in the past, you could see that it's good to understand some of the basic science behind nutrition. That way you know that when something is completely just, you know for a fact that's wrong and they're just selling you something that doesn't work at all. Um, and when you know that something is good, that way you understand that. So first of all, I um, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of my story. So when I first started, I had taken science and food science, those kind of classes in school. So I kind of knew what was healthy, what was not. But when I was trying to lose weight, I fell into that category of, I just want to lose it. I don't want to do any work for it. And I took diet pills. I took um, pretty much anything people told me to take that would help. And it didn't. So, <laughs> And I was really curious because, you know, I saw other people losing weight with them. And I didn't understand why it didn't work for me. And then later I started a nutrition program. I lost the weight. I actually lost all of my weight. And then I gained a ton of it back. And it wasn't because I didn't get healthier doing the healthy way. I actually learned a lot. And I learned a, all of the nutrition and why it works and why it doesn't work. But then I had to actually work on the root causes of what made me gain weight. Because you can get healthy and a lot of people, you'll notice this and you maybe have gone through this. Lots and lots of people gain the weight back like I did. Because... Losing weight and getting healthy is not just a physical thing. It's a mental battle. It is just as important to work on your mental state uh, as it is your physical state. So a huge part of getting healthy is going to be having the right support, having the right um, change of attitude, being able to learn how to keep yourself motivated, having the right reward system, a whole a huge part of it is working on yourself and who you are and why you want to do this. So that way it becomes more about an actual healthy lifestyle change than just getting pounds off. So I want to give you guys information on the actual supplements and things like that that you might buy, that you might see. Because a lot of this stuff is super helpful for your journey. But I want you guys to really understand that any part of the journey um, 
you're gonna, it's not gonna be easy. Even the people who are super, super fit have a difficult time with it in the beginning and throughout the whole process. Lots of people gain their weight back. They have to lose it again. They have to relearn things because it's all about <laughs> habits, making the necessary changes that are gonna help your body, that are gonna help your mind, that are gonna be permanent and are actually gonna help you throughout your, the entire, the rest of your life. So let's get started on the actual supplement part. So there's several different kind of things when I talk about um, health products. So the categories that I would list them off are going to be medications, supplements, and snacks, and meal replacements, and then actual food products. So there's actual medication that you can get prescribed or over the counter that can help you lose weight. Um, these can actually really, really help you with expediting the process but they're usually something that you use as a last resort. When you've already struggled with eating healthy, you've already tried to exercise and you're just having a really hard time, then you would go to your doctor and he could prescribe something. I don't recommend this as a first shot because it's always better to help your body do it. Your body is a mechanism that can get rid of fat when it doesn't need it. It can get healthy if you give it the right food, you give it the right amount of activity, your body knows how to do things. So if you go to a doctor at that point, it should be because you've already tried and maybe you have a medical condition that might be impeding your weight loss. But there are pills that are made specifically for weight loss. Again, because of are medications, you might have to go to your doctor or you might have to have do some research about the ones that are over the counter. For example, there is one. Um, the problem with certain medications is because they're not natural, because they're not something you would normally eat, you might get some bad side effects, just like with most medication. One of these products that is out on the market, very, very helpful for weight loss, but one of the, because what it does is it breaks down fats so that you don't actually, so you don't take in fats into your system, your body just releases them, doesn't actually use them, and so you don't take in calories from fat. But one of the symptoms or side effects is anal leakage. Yeah, sounds horrible. Sounds, sound, sounds wonderful, doesn't it? So worth it to lose weight with it. <laughs> Probably not what you want. So again, for me, medication should be always be a last resort. That's where a lot of times people go to supplements. Now supplements mean supplement, not necessary. So supplements are things that you add in to help you supplement your diet. So that means that a supplement itself will not help you lose weight. A supplement itself will not somehow give you abs. A supplement itself is not going to fix all your health issues because it is a supplement. It helps with what you're already taking. So it's important that you're already getting a good healthy diet, a good amount of activity. Then once you're getting both of those, then getting those extra supplements will help you expedite the process and make it easier for you. Now, supplements come in several different categories. So there's weight loss supplements. That's going to be supplements that have certain ingredients that actually help with weight loss, making weight loss easier. And then there's just regular health supplements that are just for overall health that people who are perfectly healthy take, like vitamins and minerals and um, probiotics and fiber. Those are things that people take as just a regular part of your healthy diet. Now, when it comes to actual weight loss supplements, this is where it gets a little tricky because basically in the United States, we don't have a supplement agency. We have the Food and Drug Administrations and they take a look at anything that is food or drug related, but they don't take a look at supplements. So people can basically sell you anything. And it may not be what it is, it may not do what it says, and there's nobody to check it. So you have to be really careful with what you're buying, and that's where knowing what those things are that are in it, it makes a huge difference because there are things that could actually hurt you, um, and there are things that may do nothing at all. You might spend tons and tons of money on something that doesn't do anything. So make sure that you do research on them before. Um, when it comes to weight loss supplements, those, you want to take a look at what the product actually does, what the ingredients are and what those ingredients do in your body, and what they add to it. So most um, vitamins and minerals, you'll recognize that the ingredient list says the names of the vitamins and the minerals. Um, other supplements might have like herbs, um, certain 
superfoods like um, chia or having like kale. Um, and so it's okay if it has some things that you recognize will be good for you to recognize. And then there's going to be certain supplements that you might not recognize. So make sure you look them up. Some of them are great. They're actually very, very helpful for your body. Um, I'm looking to make some few videos here later on to give you guys more information on, because there's tons and tons of different herbs and supplements that can help you with weight loss. But there are some that are not helpful. There's some pills that all they do is give you tons of caffeine so that you have energy, which might be helpful for you, but they might not necessarily actually help you with weight loss. There are certain herbs that actually do increase the thermogenic effect of your body and help increase your metabolism. So for anything that you do, make sure that you look it up. Ask questions. Ask the person who's selling you, like, what does this do? Because they should be able to look up the ingredients and know what they do. You should be able to look up the ingredients and find out easily on Google if this is something that's good for your body. Um, a while back, um, this is actually a few years back already, but they used to sell ephedrine weight loss pills. And this was a product that was very, very, very effective for weight loss. People lost very, very good weight. But later on, they found out that the main ingredient in these weight loss pills could actually cause a lot of damage to your body. And it ranged anywhere from just side effects like nervousness and restlessness and insomnia to hypertension that uh, could cause a cerebral hemorrhage and tachycardia and a bunch of other really bad um, health issues. So did they lose weight? Yes. Were they effective in weight loss as the product said? Yes. Was it good for you? No. So you want to make sure that you're doing research, that you're looking up these things because they're, they in the U.S. we can sell pretty much anything in a package and call it a supplement. So be careful with that. Make sure that you're looking up the things that you look up. Another good, good thing to do is to buy products that are not made in the U.S. Um, there are certain products where they get the ingredients and everything from outside the U.S. and they have they go through agencies that do regulate supplements outside the US. For example, Canada does regulate its supplements. So certain supplements that I take are from Canada because I know that what I'm getting is actually what I'm getting. So make sure to just do the, do the research, ask questions, Google it if you need to, and usually you can find out if something's good for you or not good for you pretty, pretty easily. Um, another thing that another category of health products is going to be snacks and meal replacements. So snacks and meal replacements are really helpful when you're on the go. Um, and just to help you kind of stay on track when you don't feel like getting up in the morning and making breakfast or you have to skip lunch and you want to get something in your body but you don't really feel like cooking something or buying something. They're still food. So a lot of people don't want to use snack supplements because they feel like they want to eat real food. So if you're capable and you're gonna make sure that you actually eat real food at every meal, then you don't need them. By all means, you don't. But if you know that you're not, if you know that you're lying to yourself, and the moment you don't have a meal with you, you're gonna go to McDonald's and get chicken nuggets, then make sure you supply yourself with something that's actually gonna help you. Be honest with yourself, because the biggest part of any healthy journey, clean eating, if you're just trying to get healthier, you're trying to lose weight, is you have to ask yourself what you're actually gonna do, what you're actually gonna stick with, and be honest with yourself, because if you know that you're gonna struggle with this, get the things that are gonna help you stay on track. So when it comes to snacks, I just wanna give you guys a few guidelines so you kinda know um, what is good, what's not good, because there's tons of them, tons, tons, tons. And a lot of what we find easily out in like any gas station, a lot of the times they're not very helpful. So the first thing that you want to look at is what they're made of, what it's for, what ingredients they have, where the ingredients come from, what they do for you. So if they're meant for weight loss or if they're meant just to get a sweet treat in, that's a little bit healthier than the alternative. And also what they have added to them and the cost and how many you need per day. So those are all categories that you need to take a look at. So for snacks, for the most part, if you're doing for weight loss and you're trying to just get snacks so that you have something to eat at intervals throughout your day, the amount of calories that they should range are somewhere between 70-ish calories to about 150 calories on the high end. I try to go under 5 grams of fat. You don't get too much fat in a snack. Um, I go around 15 grams of carbs. Some supplements I take are a little bit higher on that. 
some are way lower on that if you can get it lower that's better just you don't want to get too much sugar in the day but if you get a little bit too much on certain days and it's just going to help you and it's going to be better than buying a bag of chips then it's better than the bag of chips um, and then you want to go around 10 to 15 grams of protein the protein is going to be the important part because it's one of, it's what's going to keep your metabolism going so that it actually counts as a meal interval between your day so if you're getting breakfast lunch and dinner you want those snacks in between that will keep your metabolism going now there's actual meal replacements and you want to take into account the same things but meal replacements are going to have a little bit of higher calorie so some foods are going to be a snack they are not enough calories to count as a meal replacement you cannot eat only that and be okay with having that for breakfast some are going to be a meal replacement and if you have that as a snack you're having way too much and it, you need to count it as a meal so for a meal replacement you're looking at somewhere around 150 to 300 calories you want to go somewhere around 10 grams to 30 grams of carbs on the high end that one's a little bit trickier because it kind of depends what type of meal replacement and what you've had throughout the day. If you're going to have one of the meal replacements that are a lot higher on the carb spectrum, make sure you're not having a ton of carbs with the rest of your meals in the day. So kind of count it as you're having your carbs with that meal. Um, and you want to go anywhere from 10 grams of protein to 40 grams of protein. The higher end is better because it's kind of like you're having a a real like steak dinner um, but a lower amount will still help with keeping your metabolism going and meal replacements don't have to be just shakes I have had meal replacements that are mac and cheese so it depends on what's in them so make sure that you take a look at the actual calorie amount and the nutrition facts behind and that they fall into these categories and again usually they're used in combination with a food plan so if you're following a food plan make sure you're making that fit in ask the person that's helping you if you have a coach or someone that supports you or a nutritionist make sure that they help you make that product fit into your program um, certain meal replacements that are on the lower end can be used as snacks certain snacks can have things added to them to make them a meal replacement so take all those things into consideration and make sure that you're doing what's going to feel best for your body if you know you're pretty sure when you know you didn't have enough for breakfast and you know when you had way too much so just be honest with yourself and your body and what your body needs and it's going to make the whole process easier remember it's a mental battle as well so a big part of it is being honest with ourselves and getting help when we need it um the other category that I was looking into are food products and I'm gonna call them like food additions and that just means for example you go to the store and they sell chia seeds in a little pack so that you can add to your food or they sell certain essential oils that you can add to your shakes so that they taste better and all of these kind of products they're not necessarily um, supplements because they're not something that's added on they're not like a it's not a vitamin or it's not a medication um, and it's not a full meal or a snack but they get added to your food and the biggest thing you want to take a look into is what they do so what how they're going to help you and if they're good quality products so for example you can add mint oil to a shake and make it minty and that's going to just help you with flavor make things taste better to help you be able to get through that shake that you don't like or get through making your water a little bit better for your throat if you're sick chia seeds are a great way to just add some extra nutrients into your oatmeal or to your shake or to your yogurt um, and there's a lot of different things that you can add um, just make sure that when you're at the store take a look at what they're made with and make sure that they don't have extra things added like sugar or fat sometimes things get added so that things will taste better but it's always better to just use the raw product same goes with like stevia if you go and buy um, stevia powder or sugar and any of those additives that will help you with making your meals taste better but make sure that you're not getting something that has a ton of other chemicals added to it as well so just in general when you're buying any kind of product ask yourself first what am I looking for what am I actually am I looking for something that's gonna help me with weight loss as in helping me like increase my metabolism or am I looking for something that's gonna help me with the <laughs> symptoms that I'm gonna experience as I'm going through a weight loss journey so do I need like a vitamin or mineral that's going to help me with um, 
if I'm feeling nauseous or if I'm feeling bloated or if I'm feeling getting cramps. So ask yourself what is the product good for and what you're trying to gain from it. Because it doesn't help you to take protein powder in just by itself if you can have a burger and you can have real food. So it doesn't help you to get a product that's going to increase your metabolism if you're eating bad food. So it's all about asking yourself, what do I need? What is this product for? Does that product fit that need? Then ask yourself, how is it made? Where do the ingredients come from? Is it a good quality product? Does it actually have what it says it has? And does it actually do what it says it does? Ask yourself these questions. Look it up. Google is your best friend. Like, if it's a scam, if it's a bad product, somebody probably already did a post about it. Ask me in the comments below. I will look it up for you. I will do research on the nutrition label. I'll give you an honest answer whether I believe it's good for you or not good for you. And ask the person who's talking to you about it. They should be able to give you information or they should be able to give you information from their supervisor or the person above them about that product that they're showing you. Then you want to ask yourself, you know, what do they add to it? A lot of vitamins could be great vitamins, except they add a ton of chemicals to them, or they use chemicals that are really bad to coat them, and you may not even get the vitamin because the coating of the vitamin doesn't break down in your system. So you might want to look at the ingredients and look at the other ingredients and see what they add to it. It's a great way for you to kind of decide if it's good for you. Same goes with health products, snacks, replacements, all of that. Did they add sugar to make it taste better? Did they add fake sugar so that it's sweeter than what it says it has in sugar? Um, do they add fat? Did they add other chemicals? Did they add MSG to make it taste good? Take a look at all of those ingredients. If anything looks kind of fishy, Google it. Ask, what is this for? And you should have, it should be something that it makes sense. Like if it makes sense for it to stay on the shelf for a few months, okay. If it's something that it's going to last on your shelf for years and years and years, maybe you don't want it in your system. So make sure that you take a look at that. And then ask yourself, is it worth what I'm paying? Sometimes, you know, supplements aren't cheap. And if you want good products, they're not going to be the cheapest products out there. Because you can get Dollar Tree vitamins, but you're probably not even getting what they say they have in them. Or you might have to pay hundreds of dollars for medical grade products. Take a look at what you're trying to get from it and is it worth what it costs. Some products out there seem to be pretty cheap per serving, but then you need three servings in a day. So is it as cheap as they say a serving is? How much are you willing to put for your health? Some people are completely unwilling to spend $5 a day for their health, but will spend those exact same $5 for a cup of coffee at Starbucks or the same $5 for a meal at McDonald's, and they won't spend that for a meal replacement that's good for them. You have to make that decision that this is okay for me to spend for myself, but also make sure that you're not spending too much for something that's not going to help you or too little because sometimes if it's cheap it has a cheap result so make sure you look that information up ask people around you who have used these products ask for somebody to give you information about the people they know who have used it ask for results ask whether it's worked for them whether it's worked for other people be informed google it you have so much information at your fingertips if you're watching this video you have the ability to go online and do research, empower yourself because it's your health, it's your body, and you should be able to put what's good in it. And don't let yourself get hurt or get tricked into using something that's going to hurt you. Make sure that you're making informed decisions. Now, if you have questions, honestly, you can put them below and I will answer them for you. I will Google them if I need to or I'll find information to send to you. And if you want to know about the products that I use, I've done tons of research on them and I can send you information about those as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you got value from it and that you gained a lot of information from it. Um, if it helps you, if you get information from it or you think it could help somebody you know, please like it, please share it. And before I go, I want to let you guys know, if you're looking for a way to get started with eating healthy, download my 7-day clean eating meal plan guide. 
it's a pretty simple guide that just gives you what to eat, how to eat it, what to buy. It tells you how to make the foods and the meals. And it's just a simple guide that will help you get started so you can be successful on this healthy, clean eating journey. And if you're looking for support, because remember, the mental struggle is the hardest part of it all. So make sure that you join my free Facebook accountability group. It's a place for support. It's a place where I can keep you on track, where I can give you guys more information, where you can post your questions, you can post your troubles, you can post your successes so we can rejoice with you. It's just a place where you can get the support to help you get through it. So make sure that you join in on there. Both the links for those things are going to be below, and they're both free as well. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching this. Make sure that you watch the rest of the videos in this series and that you share them with your friends or anybody who might need some information about this. And again, thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best, best of luck and bless you. And have a great day. Goodbye.